Okay, this is a um, DIY cooling system for my laser. So what we have here is um, a heating oven which I uh, stole from my i7 processor as uh, a water cooling system for it now. So that is sat on top of um, the laser cut disc just on the top there so it's resting on that. And inside very difficult to see you've got the there's a water tank there just above it there is a um, thermal electric pelt here that's basically clamped between two pieces of wood okay it's pretty simple and it is basically rigged up to a PSU 12 volt now at the moment the fan is running but the pelt here is not and um, that alarm you heard a moment ago was the alarm that I use for the is the temperature sensor on my laser it's not actually in the coolant at the moment but uh, it's claiming it's 24.7 degrees okay the pellet is not on what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the sensor just directly into there and <clears throat> the switch okay so the pellet is on now This takes readings like every couple of seconds, 24.5, I'm currently waiting on a piece of copper because um, this particular heat sink, it's only got a 25 mil copper disc that runs through the, the core of the heat sink which is understandable as it's for a um, CPU um, so it doesn't actually cover the whole of the, the Peltier which is a 40 millimeter square plate um, so I'm going to uh, attach the, uh, the copper to the top of that to help move the heat from it uh, at the moment it's just covered in um, a metric fuckton of uh, thermal thermal paste um, so that's that's uh, transferring the heat very well <clears throat> so as you can see down to 13.6 degrees I feel a little bit of temperature coming from the, the heat sink now not a great deal it's just mildly warm 12.1 10.9 To touch that that feels cold that's that's really cold and that's the, this side of that but I can also feel the heat just above my finger as well 83 7.9. I did some experiments at yesterday with this and I uh, managed to freeze water on top of it pretty quickly. Um, I'm not sure if the, uh, the heat that's conducting through it is, uh, I think it's um, warming the other side of it as well, so I don't think I'm getting optimal um, cooling just yet, 6.7. I'm hoping as well that because this is like measuring the air temperature of the the inside of the uh, the water chamber that um, it'll actually drop a little bit lower. I don't want it dropping too low because obviously the last thing I want happening is it for it to freeze in the uh, in the laser um, because that would just cause all sorts of problems 5.9 I managed to get this down to like 5.7 well it dropped down to 
three or something and then it rose back up a little bit so I'm assuming that was like the the peak five point seven see if it drops any lower five point six yep yeah. I think this was about the point that it started to actually raise up again. Be interesting to see if it did go lower. I'm probably going to have to set this um, alarm to put the low temperature alarm on. <laughs> so it doesn't freeze. 5.4. Oh, 5.3. It's sort of slowing down now. Significantly with the temperature drop. Not getting much more, but that's like fridge temperatures or something. Just, just here actually, I can feel the heat. Oh, that's so cold. That's so good. Three. Yeah, I think it's sort of stabilising around that, which is pretty cool. And I suppose I could either get too cold or just simply turn off the pelt here. The uh, the residual heat goes back through the plate to the other side. Um, this will start raising. There we go. So the heat's coming through now. So I'll just rise back up to, to room temperature eventually. So yeah, that's my uh, DIY water cooler.